hello guys welcome back to our channel in this session we are going to see how to create and delete security groups for aws using gitlab and this session i am going to explain from the scratch so let's start this is one documentation which i have created and inside this documentation i have given some steps and our code here so we need to follow these steps so our first step we have to create i am user and we have to give the ec2 full access there so let's uh, go to our aws console here we need to find out the i am service here just click on it after creating the i am service just go to the users and create one user here so already have a user here gitlab user so i'll show you how to create that just click on the create user give the name gitlab user and just click on the next and you will get the permission options there add user to group copy permission and attach policy so we don't want to we don't want to add any group we don't want to copy permission we'll give directly policy here so let's search it here ec2 full access so once you got this one just click on the next button and after that we can create user once you create user just click on the user here and you have to go to the security credentials for creating the access keys and secret key so this is an access key you have to click on the create access key here and you have to use a use case here other once you use the other just click on the next button and click on the create access key here so once you have done this step you will get the access key and secret access key here so we need to store this access key and secret key inside the gitlab variables so let's go back to our gitlab account this is our gitlab account and if you see on the right left side under the setting you will get the option ci cd here so just click on the ci cd option and go to the variable section just expand this one and you will get the option for the add variable so already added there so i'll show you how can we add it just click on the add variable and you have to give the key here aws access key id then copy this access key from here and paste it here once you paste just click on the add variable then after that we have to add one more variable here as a secret key so you can give the key name as aws secret access key copy the secret access key from here this is a secret access key just copy this one and paste here if you want to add default region you can add default region as well so i have added default region and the us hyphen east one is this is for n virginia okay so this is the flow we can create i am user we can give the permission and we can add inside the gitlab variable now let's go back to our documentation or second step already done we have added access key and secret key in the gitlab variable or third step we have to create a dot gitlab c.yaml file then after that we have to create security groups using using the aws cli commands then we have to assign inbound rules there like ssh or http then after that we'll check how to delete security group so let's go back to our gitlab and just select the your repository here under the code you will get the option repository just click on the plus symbol and just click on the new file once you click on there you have to give the name dot gitlab c.yaml file so once you have done this one we have to write down the stages here so i already have a stage here so let me give the stage this is a stage stages under the stages we'll define only one stage create security group then we'll give the job name as again we'll give as a job then again we have to write the stage here so this stage has been done then here we need to use an image why we are using an image because we haven't configured any runner in aws one so directly we are using and aws cli image here for the accessing 
and uh, implementing some commands over the AWS account. So under the GitLab registry, we already defined, we already created one predefined image. You can see this is an image. Let's copy this one and paste here registry.gitlab.com slash gitlab org under the cloud deploy. This is an image name. So using this base image, we can work on the AWS console. Then after that, we'll write here the script. So under the script, our first step, we need to create security group. So first we need to understand like exactly why we are using the security group and what are the parameters there. So let me show you, let's go back to our AWS account and select here EC2 service. So under the EC2 service, if you see on the left side, you will get the security group option under the network and security. Just click on it and you will get the option for the create security group. So this is a manual process, but we don't want to do manual. We want to create automated. So let, suppose we'll select one of the security group here. So this is the one security group. Let I'll open that and we'll see the what are the parameters here. So you can see there is a one parameter security group name, which we have to give then security group ID. This will generate after creating the security group. Then description, we have to give the description. The VPC ID, if you already have a VPC, then we have to give the VPC ID there. Then owner, it will create after creating the security group. Then inbound rules count. Here, after creating the security, we have to add inbound and outbound rules. So in this session, we are going to add inbound rules like this one. These two inbound rules already created here for SSH and HTTP. So this is a way, like this is a flow we have to use using the AWS CLI. So let's go back to our documentation and let's see. This is a standard command for creating an AWS security group. So you can see here the AWS EC2 security group. This is an AWS CLI command and this hyphen hyphen group name, this is a parameter which we are adjusting here for to writing the names. Like we want to give the group name, just we have seen this is a group name. So we want to display the group name here. So we are following this flow here, like hyphen hyphen group name with followed by the name. Then another parameter is description. We are giving a description like this. And if we have a VPC ID, then we can use the VPC value here. Otherwise, we can remove this one. So currently we don't have on any VPC. We are using a default one. So we don't need to define anything. So we have to define the name here. So group name, just I'll give one of the group name here, like testing security group for GitLab. So this is a group name, description we can give for my security group for testing. So let's uh, do one thing. Firstly, we'll see it will create the security group or not. So let's scroll it down and commit the change. So let's monitor this one, go under the build section and click on the pipelines. And we'll see the pipeline has been started here. Just click on it. And let's wait for the execution. Okay. Okay, so pipeline has been succeeded you can see here the command has been executed successfully and the output it's showing as a group id so let's go back to our aws console and let's copy this group id firstly let's go back to our aws security groups and see 
this is an testing h3 for gitlab and this is a security group id which we already covered let's filter out this one see this is a security group id so now this is a way we can create security groups here so our next task is we have to add inbound rules here in this security group so how can we add it so firstly i will delete this security group manually then i'll show you how to delete automatically using the gitlab so let's delete the security group let's go back to our yaml file just click on the edit then now next task is our we want to add inbound rules to this security group so how can we add that firstly after creating this security group we have seen we got an output as a group id it is newly generated so while attaching the inbound rules will require the security group id so firstly we need to store this security group id inside the variable and using this variable we have to send we have to pass data for the attaching the inbound rules so aws cli already define one more command here like aws is to describe so this is an one command aws is to describe security group is an aws cli command for the describing the security group with this filtering out the group name as a my security group so we have already given the name let's copy this name and paste it here so using this name it will describe the security group so describe means it will completely describe the output of this security group using this followed by this group name then after that we have we want to get only group id here so how can we get that so using this hyphen hyphen query using the hyphen hyphen query parameter will filter out the security group id here so there is an parameter values we can use here for getting the security group id using the security group followed by zero dot group id and we are storing the output as a text and we will store this output under the one parameter like the parameter which will give as a security sorry the parameter variable will give as a security group id equal to we we'll need to use here a dollar symbol because using the dollar symbol will store the output under this variable once we get this security group id once we'll get the security group id we'll able to attach that in more rules here so this is a first stage first step over is create security group i'll give the printing statement get security group id so this is done once we got the security group id we have to attach inbound rules for ssh and http so what command we have to use here to get the ssh and inbound rules so the another command which we are using here for adding the ssh to the particular security group id so this is an aws h2 to authorize security group ingress this is an aws cli command followed by the auth parameter with the security group id 
as a dollar because we already store the security group id under this variable same security group id we are using to authenticate and attach the inbound rules there also we need to follow the parameter like hyphen hyphen protocol as a tcp like if you see under the aws console you will get the output here under the inbound rule like protocol port range and source so we need to use the protocol then we need to use port here and we need to use source here so let's go back to here so protocol we are using tcp the port we are using 22 this is for the ssh and salter block we are giving as a public like anyway as a 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 0 also we can use one more security group here we can add the in module for the http and we'll give the change the port as a 80 this will keep other thing as it is let's scroll it down and commit the changes and let's see the output go to the pipelines just monitor the pipeline once let's wait for the execution ok now our job has been succeeded we can see that here in the first step we got a group id then in the second step we need to get the security group id using this variables we are storing the output as a text so now here we we got a security group id like sc-0fcc same group id we got it here then after that echo attach inbound rules for ssh and std while attaching the inbound rule we are authenticating authorizing using the group id so we are calling this variable here as a security group id and using this protocol and port number it's attached the inbound rules for the ssh you can see the com port as a 22 and the second one also it's showing as a 80 now let's copy this security group id from here let's go back to our aws account let's go back to our security groups let's do ctrl f and found it so testing sg for gitlab let's open this one and you can see the two inbound rule has been added successfully here now this is the way we can create the security group we can get the group id and we can attach the inbound rules using the security group id now our next task is we have to delete the security group we have created the security group now we have to delete the security group so security we while deleting the security group there is a small command here let's go back to our aws sorry gitlab account just edit the file now we want to delete the security group so how can we let's let me do one thing i'll write one stage here delete security group and meanwhile i don't want to use i don't want to create the security group so there are lots of pro process like while sending the variables and parameter to the another stage so those things we'll see in the coming session so here simply i'm going to comment this one and this one as well and simply i will copy these three, three, three things from here let's paste it out here instead of create i'll give delete security group
get security key so we don't want this one we want only for the deleting the output key now you can see this is an one aws cli command for delete security group this is for the create one so only we want an group id here so actually we don't have a group id so we already have a security group id so let's remove this command and simply we'll use here the describe command here to get the security group id now let's use this command this command what will happen in this command it will filter out the security group id for a particular group name once we got the security group id simply we are using an another cli command aws ec2 delete security group and as a parameter group id followed by the dollar security group id which we are getting from here and we have a hard coded name we have defined here as a testing security group for the gitlab and we have commented the above code if you want to like if you want to use under the same stage or we want to use multiple stages here like if security group already exist there or not if already exist we don't want to create security group if the security group is not exist then we have to create a new security group here so so those kind of things we'll see in the coming session so now for the deleting the security group let's scroll it down and comment the changes let's uh, go back to our pipeline and let's monitor it Let's wait for the execution. Okay, now you can see. First, it has been collected the security group ID and it's been deleted in security group ID for the particular group ID. Let's copy this ID. Let's go back to our AWS security group and let's find out. So there is no security group. It's showing here. It's already deleted. So this is a way, guys. We can create and delete the security group in the AWS account for the AWS EC2 instance. So in the coming session, I'll bring the new session for the AWS with the GitLab. So thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next session.